Welcome back to Corkwing. Um, today, Ian and I are launching at Dorney for a, a two day trip down through the Sound of Slate um, on my Orkney Longliner. It's a fairly simple plan. We're just going to run down towards the Sand Eggs for some fishing today and then hopefully find somewhere to camp overnight around the islands themselves. First up, we tried for some mackerel for bait. This is a bit more of a struggle than I'd hoped, uh, and they were fairly small fish. But we did eventually pick up enough to keep us going. One, two. So it's roughly a, a 10 mile run down through the Kyle Ray Narrows to, to get to our mark. Um, Targets for today are, are mainly large spur dog, but with a decent chance of skate and some sort of hope for taupe as well. Because the fish are larger and potentially quite toothy, I've, I've stepped up the gear a bit with a 7.0 chinu and a 100 pound wire trace. I'll, I'll crush the barb on this rig too just to make unhooking a little bit easier. In case you're wondering about all the messing around here, um, it's because this spurry has come up tangled in all our lines uh, and we're, we're just trying to avoid its teeth getting too close to uh, the braid main line because it'll just go straight through it.
It's a big one, this guy. Right, you want to just take it around that side? Uh -huh. I don't even know which one I've got. Oh, you got the one that's... <laughs> right, I've got that one. Spine on. Did a, quite a little struggle. Uh, tonight we're, we're aiming to camp over at the Sand Egg Islands, um, just about two or three miles from where we were fishing. Uh, I've never been here before, but with a little luck it'll be deserted and we can just let the boat dry out on the falling tide. Um, the satellite imagery shows it fairly sandy for the most part, and uh, with a little luck we'll get a, a flat enough spot for putting up a couple of tents.
So today we, we had excellent spurry fishing and I quite literally lost count, um, loads and loads of them. Most of the fish were kind of high single figures or low doubles with the best going to just over £15. Um, to be honest there were so many that in the end I was pretty much glad to stop and make for a campsite. Sandy here is uh, also the spot many decades ago where Gavin Maxwell wrote his famous book on living with otters, um, A Ring of Bright Water, and I assume that's what's left of his cottage uh, standing over there on the shoreline. It did eventually burn down, which is why he left. Um, I just thought I'd show you here just how much camping and overnight clobber we, we tend to fill the boat with. Um, and it's even worse when you need cold weather gear later in the year. Hard enough to find enough room to make a, a coffee, let alone bacon and egg rolls. Something hungry. Anything now? No. You're a spurry, is it? Boat juice. 
refuse to work for a month. Get it as close as you can. Right. Without it. Sacrifice a net for that. <laughs> oh boy. Hope you don't get any more. <laughs> well, I managed to miss out most of the fun with this fish, um, but it grabbed a whole mackerel and made off at speed. Um, it's my first tope from this area, and it's weighed in at 35 pounds. Uh, as you can see, it also managed to total my old landing net for good measure. Um, so it just gives me an excuse to get another one, I guess. We've, we've had taupe off sky before at this time of year, so it's not a complete surprise. I was kind of hoping one or two might turn up. So it's handy to have the thought proven. As it happened, the taupe was pretty much the last gasp. Um, and we had nothing else until we packed up for our run home um, a little while later. 
So thanks for watching, um, and, and please do like, subscribe, and all that sort of stuff. Uh, YouTube does like it, and hopefully we'll see you again next time.